Hello and welcome back. So in this video we are going to do lab 39 that is installing a radius server. If you want to follow along follow the instructions radius server is basically I believe is going to be in server Windows server just like we did the VPN and here are the rest of them. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start menu, server manager, start menu and server manager. Add roles and feature, add roles and feature. And it's gonna say click. Next three times. Server selection, so from here, network policy and access services make sure click add feature so this the difference between this and this is that some of the features are selected inside it like if you go here you see only one is selected but this means that all of them you're gonna click three times is it saying three times confirmation we're gonna restart the listener automatically install so radius server is basically when you try to log into your network from a remote location So they have split this in two parts. Uh, in a real world, you will be installing VPN and Radius uh, together. Remember in the last uh, lab, in one of the few lab, couple of labs ago, we did the VPN. so installation succeeded we closed it policies work to configure policy server we can open radius server authentication server manager window tools okay this is the server manager tools network policy server This one, ready server who dial up a VPN connection is selected. Configure VPN or dial up. Virtual private network connections because nobody, Unless you're in rural America, nobody else uses the virtual pri oh sorry, dial up anymore. And click next. Click add. So we that's the uh, VPN server details. The address is 192.168.1.55. Shared password is capital P at
check extensible authentication protocol So those are different uh, standards uh, if you read up on security plus then yeah they tell you exactly what it does one is secure the other one is uh, mesh something like that so it's telling you what exactly it does all right so whatever like what it's it's like uh, from company to company or their security team how they wanted uh, or what technology they are using hardware wise to support it via software so that's why msjf v2 or e p eap p eap uh, this all comes from the security team so you don't you just do as uh, you are given the script for I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.